I'm Dr. Brian Alverson, and I'm here to give you the final lecture here at Lecturio, which is how to avoid the zombie apocalypse. In this lecture, you will learn when the zombie apocalypse is likely to happen. You will learn about the pathophysiology of being a zombie. And you will learn about what you can do to avoid becoming a zombie during the zombie apocalypse. Let's review the basic physiology of acute zombie disease, or AZD. Here is a microscopic picture of the virus that causes acute zombie disease. It is spread through being scratched, bitten, or partially devoured by a zombie. How you know you are likely to be a zombie is based on history and physical exam. So there should be a history of a recent attack by a zombie. After being attacked, you should generally notice that you are uncontrollably holding your arms out in front of you. After that, you may notice a sudden onset of drooling, limping, or having one eyeball fall out of your head. Shortly thereafter, patients are generally consumed with a desire to eat other people's brains. So when you examine a zombie to see if they are in fact a zombie, it is important to be extremely careful. So when, when, you, when you examine the zombie, you generally might think the patient is dead, but he is not dead. He is in fact undead. So even a disembodied hand is risky to examine. Often, he will suddenly attack you again after you think he is already dead. So let's walk through the zombie exam. Okay, so the way you do a zombie exam is um, first, you have to think that maybe the patient is a zombie. Then you do your exam. There are three possibilities during this exam. The, the first possibility is he bites you. If he bites you, you will now become a zombie. Another possibility is he almost bites you. If he almost bites you, you will wet your pants. The, the third option is that he does not bite you. In this case, this is the zombie apocalypse and you are going to die eventually. If you have diagnosed a zombie as being a zombie, this is the apocalypse. Try to take steps to be the last one alive. But know that eventually you are doomed. There is no help. No one is coming to save you. You're going to die. So don't, don't stock up on supplies. There is no point in stocking up on supplies. You, you don't have much time. You don't, you don't have much time. Collect all the treadmills you can find and a generator because the electricity is going to go out. Then you should place treadmills outward facing uh, around your house and when you plug them in the zombies won't be able to get into the house and this should work perfectly well uh, uh, until you run out of uh, gas and... Uh, <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.